Ah, welcome back, guys, to probably, hopefully, a war end, but I'm not sure. This is, this is turning out to be a pretty interesting war, like, seriously, we have tons of soldiers moving in on us now, like, tons of them, and all I want is inner German land, but they don't want to give me that, but, yeah, anyways, um, they brought us down to our limit, so I'm just going to recruit some... Can I afford it? Wait, can I afford it? Yeah, I'm going to recruit some mercenaries in our centralized position because they've killed a lot of our soldiers and we need to kind of reheal ourselves quick. I mean, really quick. We don't... We are in a do or die moment at these points in our game. These guys are coming after us. May 2nd. Can we get away? Probably not. Yeah. Okay, those guys are probably going to destroy me right there. Unless I get myself a really... I can't get myself a really good commander. Yeah, those guys are going to destroy me. Yeah, I, I already knew I was going to die. Oh, gosh. Yeah, and then they're going to go right here again. Okay, we're going to have to... Yeah, we're going to have to deal with this a lot. Okay. Yeah, you guys just go retreat. I know you guys suffered a major loss. Don't, don't get me started. Alright, I'm going to start grouping up all my units. And... Gosh dang it, these guys are coming in a lot harder now. I think, yeah, oh, the, Lith the war with Lithuania just finished, that's why. Now they have a full attention on me. And now I'm gonna start, oh, come on! Retreat, 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 retreat. Come on, ah, oh, dang it! Oh, come on! Just when I was thinking I was gonna win that, and then all of a sudden those guys came in. Ah, oh, okay. You know what? Group all my men in there. Let's see. 32, 35. Okay, I have most of my men doing what's supposed to. I'm blockading. I'll divide up my men. Go back here. Go make sure that the inner ports are in, are in shambles. Oh, gosh dang. Okay, all you guys group up right here. We're going to go send a massive force to go defeat the rest of these guys. Now I'm getting a little bit angry. Yeah, 18 soldiers, no way. I don't care how much they have at their disposal, they are not destroying 18, 20k soldiers, we're not messing around now. Now we are not messing around. I shouldn't have been messing around in the beginning, but I was. So let's go destroy this army. Carl Ribbing, you are in charge, my greatest commander ever because he's my heir, and I'm gonna go kick these guys' butts. Okay, there we go, go destroy them, finally go destroy them. It, yeah, I'm, I'm, you guys can obviously see I'm not messing around anymore. I'm really... That was like the final and utter straw. I mean, getting attacked twice, losing twice, that was it. I have a core on this too, so it's already there. That means I should probably build something here. Uh, yeah, this. So that I can make sure that it keeps inside. I mean, I don't have to build two, I just have to make sure it's built one up. So that, just in case it does like rebellions and stuff over here, I make sure I at least have some of it. Manhattan, Scandinavia, Scandinavia, yeah, this is probably going to be ours. I'm basically making this all like Scandinavian provinces, which is nice. Okay, back over here though. Okay. okay. We're going to... Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack right here, take out whatever we... Let's get that. And the instant money will be a little bit better, that's why I'm doing it. Okay. I'm going to keep some men right here while I reconquest all the rest of my land. Go destroy, wait, go destroy these rebels. Okay. Okay. You guys will move up right here. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay, so we're going to do some more conquesty things. Um, yeah, now that we basically now that we have uh, control of everything, I'm just going to destroy everything and leave war enthusiasm high. <laughs> All of these guys' war enthusiasm is low. A uh, war hereby enthusiasm. The blockade percentage is 63%. Oh, that's nice. 
That's definitely nice. But I want more than that. I want to make sure that if I'm going to take this, I'm going to take all of this. Um, maybe I'll also take the rest of Norway too. That way we can just finish off everything. Because I really don't want to go back to Wolf or any of this. Okay, let's go deal with you guys. And yeah. We got this war back on track. We're keeping 12 men that are stated at St. Petersburg, St. James. And we're basically re re-establishing control over everything. Alright, and then I'm going to go send another force to go... Yeah, there we go. Mm-hmm. Alright. I'm um, going to go send a force to go... Nah, just stay right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then we have one infantryman that's kind of, like, stuck. He's like, I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. Does everyone now have a... Now that we have everything, does everyone now have temples? Just so I can build as many temples as I can. Okay, just build as many temples as you can. Because this is going to help us in the long future. Okay, there we go. Alright, and now we just wait. Oh, my men, we conquer all of our land that we just lost. Keeping 8k right there to guard almost against... Let's go destroy these guys. Go, go send the street K over there just in case if things go wrong. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and just keep it right there. You don't want to. Yeah, that's actually a bad idea. Retreat. Okay, yeah, we don't really want to destroy them. We just want to make them fear us. Like, seriously, we just want to make them fear us. And we'll be conquesting all of our land. Gotland. Oh, great. Gotland, really? Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to deal with Gotland now. That's going to be in, like, a couple episodes, though. Okay, let me just get back all my land. Grain. Let's see. We have zero colonists still. That's still colonizing. Great place to be, by the way. Colonizing. Okay. We have new tech. We can invest in here. That's good. New provinces to send and Catholicize. Let's go send it to Lawland. And let's see. How our realm is slowly becoming united in Protestant. Like, we are becoming solid Protestants. We got all the islands taken over. Yeah, we got all of our islands taken care of. That's great. So that's good. Um, you know, yeah, and our sister country of Protestantism is England. Great place to be. Um, I can invest in a new idea, too. Um, economic ideas, national trade mod, but that'd be pretty nice right about now. Like, we do a lot of trading, so that'd actually give us a lot. Okay, and you guys will be conquesting all my stuff. Okay, you guys can actually go in a little bit. So you want to make sure to stop putting some more pressure onto these guys in the colony was a little bit damaged. I can't necessarily deal with that, so Delaware is all on its own. Luckily, I have a colonist right there sending in troops every single second, so that should not be hard. And the enthusiasm for this war is still very low. They're going to... I, I guarantee they're going to give up eventually because they can't fight me in this forever. I have... My military, my people, on the other hand, are very much high in this. and like, yeah, totally, let's go to war. So it's not really a problem for me to, go, to keep in this war. Okay, I'm going to go send some more troops right over here. And now that I got back into this, I think, yeah, now we're winning in terms of militaristics. So, now they should be, just, ah, dang it. The formation is starting to become a major stuff. That's not good. Um, I'm going to go send my soldiers right over here. You guys go right there. And now we're going to go take down Norway. Because Norway aggravated me too. Go take down Norway. <laughs> uh, okay, now we got... A lot of good men. I don't think they have anything more powerful than that in any of their provinces. So we should be good in that respect. Should be good in just having these amount of men in all their provinces, six provinces, and just be able to just relax. Okay. Two to expire buildings. I can build more buildings. Free advisor slots. But let's see. How's our money doing? Our money's doing pretty good right now, so maybe we can afford advisors again. Um, don't need much. 
holy shit, these guys cost a lot. Let's get the national trade modifier. Um, uh, diplomatic reputation. Fortress defenses. Okay, and we can we can turn down the sieging of our fleet if we need to. Oh, and raise wartime taxes. Yay! <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we're, we're just we're definitely getting the hang of this now. I now I now got the hang of this. Oh gosh, they're they're gonna take down that. Okay, I'm just gonna it's gonna be probably pretty easy to siege back that. Um, colony damage, native uprising, can't really deal with it right now. But both the native Massachusetts and the native Delawareans, I know I'm gonna have to go destroy them because they just. We don't really. Let's get a thousand mile power just in case. Smugglers run rampant. Yeah, just let the smugglers smuggle. And yeah, there's gotta be something good out of that. Okay. Alright, let's do that. You guys go back here. Um, once they're done with that siege, I'll go send them to go take down the Norwegians. Who will be coming a little bit of a pest. Not gonna deny. Actually, I'll go have you guys. Okay, now that's the devil. It's starting to become a little bit of an issue. Now let's go have you guys go hunt down all the rebels. Okay, yeah, you guys go hunt down all the rebels. I'll have you guys still stay right here. So I'm being very serious about this siege now. They're not getting away with it. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and look at that. Look at that beautiful sieging. Okay, accommodation with natives in Delaware. Finally! Peace offer from... Uh, we have received an offer from Hungary. They are offering us... We negotiate on behalf of our entire city. They may negotiate, negotiating for themselves. Okay. Okay, good. So they're out of the war, and then yeah, that's they really didn't need to be in this war. So basically, the two guys I wanted to be in this war in the war. So I'm gonna go take them down. Okay, time to go take down these Norwegians. Okay, you guys are uh, go destroy these guys. Seriously. Once those guys are dead, now you can go. Now go deal with these guys over here. So we can go defeat the last Norwegians, okay? And it seems like Libronians basically dumb for. Okay, I'm gonna split these guys up. One guy go right there, one guy go right there. Yeah, I just wanna take as much, let's see, what can I get out of these guys? I just need these four territories and I can basically call it quits. Um, I'm gonna get a separate peace with you guys. Member of the coalition, oh yeah, I can't actually get a peace with you guys, so that kinda stinks. But once I'm done, okay, you guys go kill these guys. Go right here. Go kill these guys. Either way they go, I'm just gonna go kill them. Yeah, there we go. Seems like I think we just finished up another colony. We finished up something. I just heard a da da! Which is a good sign. Uh, these colonies are almost done. So while we were doing wartime, a lot of these colonies were growing. That's a really good sign. And they're all Protestant Swedish. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Mm, man, I wish I would have more of those events where the colonies would just naturally go in and go, like, expand itself. So that's really nice when it does that. <laughs> okay. We're destroying the rest of these guys. So I'm getting kind of tired of this. Okay. It seems like we have some more Norwegians somehow still alive in this world, and we can go send in more Catholics. Go send in more Catholics. All right, call ribbing. Go kill them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Whatever. Oh uh, yeah, these guys should be able to conquer the rest of that in the background. We got the main con we got the main places all done with. Now that we have the main places all done with, yeah, we're basically winning now. I do think we need to reseed this back. Let's go destroy actually these guys. We're Carl Ribbing, our great general. Or our good general. 
I mean, he's good. He's not, like, great. But he's stupid, also. He's stupid. He's very, very stupid. Tragedy. Actually, that's not that bad, actually. He's actually pretty good. And I'm... I'm going to be ending it, okay? Just, it's going to take a little bit. Okay. So, we just basically have to deal with this. I'm almost there. Wait, are they literally attacking me? 8k. Glory to us. Yay! I don't know why we're getting glory to us, but okay. I love glory. So, that's always good. Okay. Uh, I don't know why we're getting glory to us, but okay. Uh, over here, though. Uh, did they just... Okay. We got half of our soldiers. Go send him in to go help him. Yeah. I didn't think he would win. That's why I sent in half of my soldiers. Okay, it seems like we got more revolts. The sleeves. Okay, these guys need to heal a little bit more before I go send them in more. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Livonian order. If you guys accept this now. You guys accept that entire deal we can end this war and you guys will accept it and I would not accept the force religion dang it probably because they're really fiercely whatever they are well, let's also see if we can get annul these stupid treaties no it doesn't seem like we can well at least we can get Brandenburg out of this so and how much money can we get out of this 51 cent. Oh gosh. My aggressive expansion is probably off the roof. Oh gosh. I'm gonna have to start pouring all these places. But at least we got some of our land back. <laughs> oh man. Now look at that. Now we got firm control of the Baltic Sea. That should mean also that the trade node over here is a little bit stronger tilted towards us now. Maybe not. <laughs> Thought it was. Um, we can now, let's see. It's probably spending a lot on this, but I don't need to be as expensive anymore. So yeah, there we go, guys. So now everyone's in a coalition against us. Well, I'm not really going to be expanding for a little bit, so it's fine that you guys all hate me. Like, seriously, it's, it's not a problem for me. You guys can all hate me. I would not care at all. Okay, I'm going to do this. Divide up half the army. I'm going to go have both you guys go circulate. Go one guy, go hunt down these guys. You guys go hunt down other rebels. I'm going to go stick you guys right here in my main capital. And then we're going to go send... Then we're going to have you guys group up right here. And then we're going to go send those six army men right there to go kill off a couple of these Protestants. You guys are now healed. You guys go right here. Wait, we have to do a little bit longer. Okay. Let's just go kill off the rest of these guys. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. We don't have enough money for this. Expired causes Belli. <laughs> well, I should start having really lots and lots of causes Belli. And one of my settlers finished! Yay! Okay, but we want to stick it. The next settlement. Hmm. And we can go all the way to the Caribbean. The Caribbean would be really nice to have. It would also be really nice to finish out the rest of this, though, but they have a lot more. Hmm. Should we stake some spent? Should we stake some, like, Hispaniola claims? I mean, this is this would be why not <laughs> that's actually wouldn't be that hard to really conquest and it'd be pretty nice to have this place right here since it's like an important center of trade I'm guessing oh and Jamaica who would not want to own Jamaica guys <laughs> I mean honestly and yeah dang that was a brutal war right there we fought through thick and thin to gain these provinces that we just earned it was I, I swear, it was one of the biggest wars we've ever fought in our entire lives. 
Oh gosh, and we're still technically fighting, so we still have to go deal with all the rebels. So I'm trying to deal with this as soon as possible. So you guys go on the ships. And it seems like there's a rebellion. Is that a Danish nationalist? Oh gosh, the nationalists are revolting. Oh, that'd be really funny if they gain their independence, because then I could just go in and go take them. Alright, and now you guys, transport you guys, go right here. Go destroy these rebels. Yep. Okay. And there we go. So, I'm going to shift click my. Let's just go right here, separate, shift click, close. And then all of you guys that are just. Keep, just these guys. Um, which one do I want to do? I want them to do. Hmm. Protect. Right there. Okay. And. Yeah, guys. Oh, gosh. I think we're done. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're done. We just crushed everything. I mean. And. Oh, my goodness. When the heck did this happen? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now we're seeing the rest of the world. I mean, this we've seen, we know this world existed for the longest of time because Scandinavian philosophers are great at that. But dang, now we actually know, and I don't know when we did that, but okay. Um, over here, Aztecs colonies. Spain and France seem to be colonizing mostly over here, which is nice. I mean, this land's okay, it's just not like. It's just not the land I want. The main land I want is gonna be over here. And mainly over here and over here. I mean, we do have our colonies starting to be set up right over here, which is nice. We have our Scandinavians, and honestly, we don't need that much more to, like, completely block and own all of this, which would be completely nice. I mean, look at that. My empire is starting to come together in the new world. Over here in Scandinavia is officially united, basically, and we have a lot of good land. Oh, gosh. I mean... There is not much I can really say that's really going wrong now. We have... <laughs> we have done it, guys. And with this, I want to thank you guys for watching. And... Should I get another nationalistic idea? What is it? Economic. Or is it offensive? Militaristically? I'm not really using... I'm not really using this anytime soon. So let's just do that. And... I'll see you guys next time.